Good morning, boys and girls. I'm so happy to see you again. So today, our story time lesson is about St. Damiana and the 40 virgins. Okay, I'm almost sure that you have heard of St. Damiana and the 40 virgins, probably in Sunday school or at a sermon from a Buna at church or at liturgy. Okay, so St. Damiana lived a very long time ago, and she was a Christian. And her father was a Christian governor named Mark. So Mark rings a bell, right? It's a very popular name with us in our church because of St. Mark, who spread the word in Egypt about God. So anyway... The Emperor Diocletian, you know, he wasn't very nice. He was actually very mean to all the Christians. And instead of getting married, St. Damiana asked her father to build a palace instead of her getting married so that she and 40 of her friends, ladies like herself, could worship freely. Because remember, Diocletian wasn't very nice to Christians. So she wanted to build, to have a palace to live in so that she wouldn't have to worry about him. And she could worship as much as she wanted and she could be free to worship God and pray. And she wanted to live as a nun with all her other 40 friends. So you're gonna say, what is a nun? Well, a nun is a young lady who is not married and wants to devote her life to God and to prayer. That's what a nun is. So one day, this Emperor Diocletian asked her father, Mark, to worship idols. So you're going to say, what are idols? Well, idols, as we mentioned in our other classes, idols are something that we don't worship. They're not true gods. They are something that long time ago, pagans used to worship and um, offer sacrifices to, but they're not the true God. We know the true God, right? And it's Jesus Christ, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. And you're going to say, well, no, he isn't going to do that because he's a Christian. Well, actually, he did. He did. He was feeling threatened by his boss. Remember, he was the governor and Diocletian was the emperor. So he felt he had to do it. And you know what happened? Demiana find, found out and do you think she was happy about that? Not a bit. She was so sad. And she went to her father and told him just how bad she felt. She really was very upset. And her father realized what he had done. And so he said, you're right, Demiana, you're right. And I am so sorry. So what did her father do? He went to the emperor and he said, you know what? I told you before that I worshiped idols. Well, actually I don't believe in them. And I believe in the Christian God, in God, the real God, the only God. And do you think Diocletian was happy to hear that? Not a bit, not one bit. I'm gonna show you a picture. Look at this. This is, what do you think this is? This is Damiana. And who are all these ladies? These are the 40 virgins. Okay? So, let's continue with our lesson. So, do you think that Damiana felt good that her father went and talked to Diocletian? Of course she did. Because you know what? Because when Di Diocletian heard he was so upset with Mark that he became a martyr. 
he gave his life for Jesus and for Christianity, and he became a martyr. And then he found out how did how did all this happen? Who told? Who talked to Mark to change his mind? And he found out that it was Damiana who did that. So he went over to Damiana's palace and said, uh-uh, I not like what you did. So now you have to worship idols. And she refused. And so what happened with her and the 40 virgins and the other 40 nuns? They just refused to give up God. And they said, no, we will not worship idols. We believe in our Lord. So they also received the crown of martyrdom, just like her dad, just like her father, Mark. So that's the story of St. Damiana. In the Bible, there is a verse, a beautiful verse, actually. It's in the book of Psalm 41.12. And it says, as for me, you uphold me in my integrity and set me before your face forever. So that's a word about integrity. I don't know if you know what that is, but St. Damiana and the 40 virgins had a lot of integrity. They did not give up what they believed in for any reason whatsoever. So let's repeat it again. As for me, you uphold me in my integrity and set me before your face forever. That's in the book of Psalm 41, 12. And again, this is the picture of St. Damiana and the 40 virgins. So we all, as ladies, we all want to be just like her, to be faithful to God and not give in to others, not to give in our faith. We want to be faithful and prayerful and live a holy life in prayer. Okay? So, St. Damiana is one of my favorite saints and I think a lot of you also feel the same way. Do you have icons in her in your house about St. Demiana? I have a student, her name is Demiana, and she's wonderful, and I love that name. Okay, so this takes us to the end of our lesson, and I hope that you all have a wonderful and safe, peaceful week till we see each other again. Okay, so God willing, we'll see each other next week. Till next time, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, amen. Till next time.